All right, seventh graders, lesson 75. We're going to be dealing with areas of complex figures and trapezoids. So just odd shaped figures, not with squares or rectangles or circles. And so uh, we're going to be working on some of those. So example one, uh, we've got an odd looking shape. And there we have it with its dimensions. And as always, there are many, many ways to uh, figuring out this type of figure. Uh, we could do a lot of different stuff here. Um, so there's multiple ways to figure that out. I'm going to divide it right here. And I can know the area of the uh, rectangle here. I've got a length of uh, 7 and a height of 10. So I know that this will be 70. And over here I've got a triangle. Now the whole length is 16, and I just want this part. So if this is 7, 16 minus 7 means this will equal 9. So I'm going to put a 9 down here. And the length of this whole side is 10. If this is 4, this will be 6 over here. So I'll put a 6 over there. So now to figure out the area of a triangle, we pretend that it's a rectangle. 6 times 9 will be 54. And then half of 54 is going to be 27. So I can write 27 in here. So now I've got 70 plus 27. 0 plus 7 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. And let's see, they said dimensions are in millimeters. So I just need to add a label to my answer here, and it's 97 square millimeters is my answer for example 1. All right, let's take a look at example 2. Alright, I've got a 6, and I've got a 3, and a 10, and a 10. Now in this example, again, there's many ways to figure this out. The way that I prefer to, for myself, is it looks like it would be maybe easier to pretend this is a big square. 10 times 10 would be 100. And now I just need to find out what this area is over here so that I can subtract that from the 100. And if I know the length of this side is 10, if this is 3, then this will be 7. And if the length of this side is 10, this is 6, that means this is 4. So 7 times 4 for this triangle here is 28, and i got to divide that by 2, which is 14. So I'm going to subtract the 14 from the 100. And uh, let's go ahead and make this a 10 and make this a 9. 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 1 is 8. So I have 86, and then dimensions here are in centimeters squared. So the red area in here uh, would be a total of 86 centimeters squared. All right, example three goes on to trapezoids. Uh, a trapezoid is a quadrilateral, it's just got one pair of parallel sides. And they give us a trapezoid here. They give us a 10, a 7, and then a height of 6. And those dimensions are in centimeters, so we can figure this out. With trapezoids, what we do is we divide them into two triangles. You can go diagonally this way, or you can go diagonally the other way. It doesn't matter. Today we'll do that way. But the height of both triangles is going to be 6. And that because I know, so the height here is 6, so I know the height from here to here is 6, and the height from right here is 6. And because I've got the length of both bases, I can solve for this. So uh, let's see here, let's get this triangle first. Uh, the height of it will be 6, the length is 10, so 10 times 6 is 60. 60 divided by 2 is 30. And uh, let's get the bottom triangle down here, this triangle right here. Again, the height is 6, and the length of the bottom is 7. 6 times 7 is 42, but I need to divide that in half. 42 divided by half will be 21. So if I add those together, I get 51. And if we remember, they said centimeters, so it's square centimeters. So this is going to be the one that you might have to look back at lesson uh, 75 here to remember 
how to find the area of a trapezoid, but if we divide it into two triangles, uh, that will give us success. That's it for today. You can get started on the practice set here, 7th uh, graders.